it triggered and it started talking. Quite funny. Let me try that again anyway. Funny in a good way, I hope. <laughs> Welcome to my steps. Welcome to my Hey, welcome to Mike's Tech and Toys. And today I'm unboxing and having a look at the Amazon Echo Dot second generation. So here we have the Amazon Echo Dot. The all new Echo Dot allows you to talk to me in more rooms in your home. It includes the built in speaker, but you can also connect to external speakers using Bluetooth or Line Out. See the Alexa app for more information. And straight away I will show you the obvious differences between the Amazon Echo Dot and this. So straight away you can see the obvious difference between the two units. This one is tiny in height comparison compared to the original Amazon Echo. Another obvious difference is the sound quality that you get from the two. You get a much more richer, deeper sound from this Amazon Echo here than you get with this Amazon Echo Dot. However, all is not lost because another difference between the two is that with this, you can plug in an external speaker which will make it much more powerful in terms of audio sound than the Amazon Echo. As a standalone unit, the Amazon Echo will always be the number one for me because it's just there, self-contained, you need nothing else. Oh, and let me just add one other thing. There's also a difference on the top of the Amazon Echo Dot. It has four buttons on there, whereas the Amazon Echo only has two. The Amazon Echo Dot has a microphone mute button, an action button, and a volume up and down. The reason why it has the volume up and down on this is that unlike its bigger version, the Amazon Echo, it doesn't have a volume ring on the top. It will basically do everything the bigger Amazon Echo does, but in a much more smaller package. Echo, hello. Hi. Echo. What time is it? The time is 12.09 p.m. Echo. Tell me a joke. Why do potatoes make good detectives? Because they keep their eyes peeled. Oh my gosh. Right, so if you saw my first video on the Amazon Echoes, you would have seen me control my lights and do various different things with it. As mentioned before, this little dot will do exactly the same things, more or less, that the bigger version does. I'll give you a few more examples. Echo. Wake me up at 5am in the morning. Alarm set for 5am tomorrow. That's brilliant. <laughs> so you can even use it as a voice activated alarm clock. Echo. Set a timer for 5 seconds. Five seconds, starting now. Brilliant. Echo, stop. Echo, count to ten. One. Two, right, so now it's counting, and if I want to stop it, I can give it a verbal command or seven, press eight, the action button. Nine. Stop. So that's designed so that if your volume is so loud on this echo that it can't hear you giving any further commands, you can use the action button. Or you can use this remote control. 
So on the remote you have this little button right here which has a little symbol of a microphone on it and that's fantastic because if you're playing music especially with this big boy right here and it's too loud it won't be able to hear you give it any further commands for example to stop so if you set your alarm and the alarm's going off and you're trying to tell it to stop but it can't hear you because the alarm's going off if you have the remote all you do is you press and hold this button right here it overrides the audio and you simply say stop and whatever it's doing it will stop now I'm not saying you definitely need this all the time I'm gonna go for an example right now I'll give you an example I'm gonna play some music right so here's an example of when the little dot won't listen to you because the audio is too loud and how you can get around that using the remote echo play Mariah Carey Shuffling Mariah Carey. Echo, stop. Echo, stop. No, it's not listening. So what I do is I simply press this button right here. Stop. And now it's stopped. Okay. So again, very handy to have this, especially if you set this alarm to wake you up in the morning and this is nowhere near your bed or your hand so you can reach it and you're trying to get it to stop and it keeps going off, you can simply use the remote or you can do this because I don't think it's a complete loss and although I'm showing you this remote, I still say you don't really need this remote. It's just an optional extra to have. I love my technology, I love my gadgets. So of course I had to get one. But here's, <laughs> here's how you get around stopping this alarm when it's going off. I'm gonna set a timer right now, Echo. Set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds, starting now. Right, so in five seconds time, it's going to alarm. While it's alarming, I'm going to give it a command and it probably won't hear me because it's fairly loud. But here's the workaround without the remote and without touching the top. It's simple really. Check this. Let me just wait for the sound and I'm gonna give it a command. Echo, stop. See, it won't listen to me because the sound's going off. Let me shout louder, echo, stop. See, it won't listen. But all you have to do is just wait for the gap between the sounds, listen. Echo, stop. Simple as that. You don't have to use this remote, you don't have to touch that. But what if you're playing music and there is no gap? Then you really are either going to have to hit that action button here or get yourself one of these remotes or just don't play your music that loud and then it will be able to listen to you. Let me give you a quick example. This is difficult because I don't want to get a copyright hit, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna play some music uh, at its maximum volume and we'll see if it'll listen to me, okay? All right, Echo, play music. Here's an Amazon music station you might like, Beyonce. Echo, stop. <laughs> See, now that worked. That absolutely worked. Okay, let me try it again with a different song. Echo, play Rihanna. Here are the most popular songs by Rihanna from Amazon Music. Echo, echo, stop. See, not a problem. And I think that is one of the improvements with this Gen 2 version. It doesn't seem to be an issue here. But I will say this, if you do have any issues with it, all is not lost because it is always, always improving itself, getting better, getting more used to you and your voice, getting updates from the cloud. It's awesome. So the question is, which one should you go for? So I guess it really boils down to what's more important to you. As an AI device in your dwelling or office, where you want it to do everything, just an all round perfect device where you don't need any additional equipment, I'd go for the Amazon Echo right here because it has a decent enough speaker to play music and it does everything else. If you get the little dot, all you're gonna get is this device, so everything this can do, but with a much weaker speaker system. However, as I've mentioned before, you can plug in a much better speaker system directly into this dot or connect one via Bluetooth and you could potentially have a much better sound 
than the Amazon Echo itself. But if, like me, you want an additional device that you can pop in your bedroom and use it as an elaborate clock radio, or even a radio that will turn itself off at a preset time that you tell it, watch. Echo, play LBC UK. LBC UK on TuneIn. Uh, Theresa May, though, is not Echo. Clear, no indication. Stop playing in one hour. Okay, I'll stop playing in one hour. There are, of course, facilities available. Now, you see, for me, that's perfect. I can go to bed, listen to my favourite station, or listen to some music, and I can tell it to stop playing at a certain time, or in a certain time, and it will just stop. So you don't need to worry about turning it off before you fall asleep. And, of course, you can do that with both units. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a quick audio comparison between the Amazon Echo and the Echo Dot. I'm going to use speech because if I use music, I might get one of those tricky little copyright hits and I don't want that to happen. So we're just going to use speech and see if you can tell the differences between the two units. Okay, so I'm going to start with Alexa. What are you? I'm an Amazon Echo. Echo? What are you? I'm Alexa and this is an Amazon Echo Dot. <laughs> Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Now they're talking to each other. So rude. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So I, I, I want to make them talk a bit longer so you can appreciate the differences in the audio quality. So let me try this. Alexa, what is an Amazon Echo Dot? Echo Dot allows you to talk to Alexa in more rooms in your home. It includes the built-in speaker, but you can also connect to external speakers using Bluetooth or Line Out. But you can also connect to external speakers using Bluetooth or Line Out. That's quite funny. See the Alexa app for more information. That's quite funny because when the little dot heard the word Echo, it triggered and it started talking. Quite funny. Let me try that again anyway. Funny in a good way, I hope. <laughs> so there you go you could hear the difference i'm sure you could hopefully you could if you couldn't just plug in a set of headphones to whatever device you're watching this video on and just play that bit again and you will hear how deeper and richer the audio is from this amazon echo compared to the little amazon echo dot alexa hello Hello. Echo. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> okay, let me try this, let me try this. Alexa, say hello to Echo. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Okay, let me try this. Echo, say hello to Alexa. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, okay. Alexa. Say hello to Echo. I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. You, you're just a stubborn old Echo. Say hello to Alexa. Hello. You see? This little one is so polite, you're mean. Echo, can you dance? I can't do that. I can answer questions and play music. Alexa, can you dance? That's not one of the things I can do. <laughs> this is brilliant, okay. I'm tired. Echo, turn off bedroom light. Okay. Echo, good night. Good night, sleep well. Oh, and don't you dare wake me up at 5 a.m. Echo, cancel alarm. 5 a.m. alarm cancelled. Ted can talk.